think, dude, there's a, uh, I'm sorry to call you so early, there's an old admiral in Pasadena. It's one of those cool looking wood ones. Uh, 25 bucks, buy it now. So, I think you should grab it, man. Nothing else, the freaking tubes and the CRT are worth that. Anyway, if you're tapped, let me know, I'll buy it, you pick it up. I just don't want to, uh, you know, put you out, you know, if you can't go get it. Anyway, give me a call back, let me know what you want to do. Okay, bye. So anyway, to start off with a voicemail, uh, my friend Dave found this on eBay, and um, he ended up buying it, and uh, I went and picked it up this morning. I'm not a fan of these at all. I don't really like the way they look. We call this a Bob Anderson special. Some of you will know why and what that means. He's a vintage TV collector and restorer that really seems to like these things. And I think there's a good reason why. This is a really nice, this is actually a really nice set. I would think I would probably give this a 8 out of 10. I can see it's had a little refinishing work done. Fighting the sun here. Looks like we got a uh, model three zero A one. I believe the Sam said nineteen forty eight, and he said it worked and it had a negative image. I think it's had a transformer replaced here. I don't know. I can't read that. Probably can, you can read it on the camera what that is. Huh. Something center tab 24 volts. Let me get a magnifying glass. Anyway, let's hook the CRT tester up. Uh, looks like just a 10 BP4 and see what we're looking at. Well, it's not dead. Um, probably a little bit under 6.3. That's probably 6.3. Also, um, turns out he had this too. And this is a... Uh, Crosley, this is this is fairly abused. The knobs are all missing. The speaker grill's ripped up. Uh, chassis's not bolted down. Tubes are missing. Um, this is a model. Uh, what is this? Nine dash four zero eight. Not that that really matters, but. We got a modern uh, Chinese cord on here. Some spliceage. Let's uh, take a look and see how our CRT is doing here. It's coming up. 0 0.8, 6.3 volts. That's, uh, that'll definitely produce a usable picture. It's not virgin, it's not strong, but uh, I didn't have to cook it or rejuvenate it or anything like that. I'm gonna grab my other CRT tester. First I'm gonna pop this on the Crosley, then I'll grab my other CRT tester. This one in the Crosley is actually maybe a little bit more awake. Um, than the Admiral. Let me get a magnifying glass and see what that transformer is. So back on the Admiral, I let it uh, 
sit and run for about five uh, five minutes at 6.3 volts and now it's uh, kind of woken back up to where I'm getting almost a full milliamp at uh, five volt filament voltage so the Admiral has a excellent probably new old stock or close to it CRT the uh, Crosley didn't come up quite this good although it initially came up a little better so Admiral definitely has a stronger CRT in the end let's check the Admiral now with the uh, Super Mac get set set the uh, filament where it uh, about 5 volts now let's see if there's anything short nope Warming up. Let me bring the bring the uh, filament voltage up here to what it's supposed to be, and we'll just go to six volts. Cutoff is a tad weak. The emissions are pretty good though. Still warming up. Let it sit and run for a few minutes. CRT is good in the end. So yeah, well into the good on the emissions at uh, about five volts good CRT good life left I think we need to plug this TV in and see what happens the guy said it had been almost completely recapped and was working it just had a negative image on the screen and I can't imagine what would cause that except for maybe if someone put the detector diode in backwards so let's uh, power it up and see if we get some smoke here we go Wow, is that bright? I know the camera's blanking it out. That's weird as I adjust this. So I adjust this control, it changes the blanking on the camera. No volume, no sound. That must be brightness right there. I know this is going to be hard to see. Maybe I can get it out of the. But this thing is. Uh, I'm not pulling the chassis out. I'm just looking for the bottom. This thing looks like it's been recapped. I see some modern resistors in there I see modern caps I see all kinds of modern goodies in there so it looks like someone restored this at one time not too long ago the filters look like they've been replaced so uh, I don't know why it doesn't have any sound it's not mine it's David's I'm gonna let him 
work on it when he and I figure out how to get it to him. But this is definitely a score if you're into these. It's even got the original metal feet. Cabinet's in really good shape. I mean, it needs, it's got a little bit of, but the grill cloth is good. Grill cloth is excellent. The knobs are all there. Looks like all the screws. This is, I might make this a 9 out of 10. It's too bad the back is missing. Not that that's any big deal, but uh, this is definitely a 9 out of 10. This is a score. Now this Crosley here, um, not much hope for this. Maybe parts. I do have a 630 TS. I might try and uh, convince him to let me keep this for parts till I get that thing restored. Not much of value with this thing. But this here probably just has a dirty tube socket or something and it's possible that uh, someone did put the detector in backwards if they replaced that but whatever it's his uh, his repair restore job not mine I thought I'd just check it out and show everybody